Hi folks, um, okay, this is a video on using cactus juice stabilizing resin on minerals. Now this is a piece of blue john I have, I've polished it, but as you can see there's a big crack line so I have to, I'm, I'm a little bit wary and I want to try and get a much smoother finish. So that's one of the first things we'll be attempting. And this is also a piece of black amber, which again, I want to completely smooth that side down, but I don't know how fragile this stuff is. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to seal it. Um, so this is somewhat of an experiment, to be fair, but let's see what happens. Okay, here is my prepared cactus juice. This is the first time I've used it. I have my vacuum chamber ready so well wish me luck. Just make sure everything's submerged. The amber's floating. I may have to look at weighing that down with something. We'll see how we go. Right, so that's now going to go into the vacuum chamber. There are bubbles coming out of the piece of Blue John already. Ooh, I say that's an unpleasantly tight fit in there. Okay, and we're in. I'll just, uh, let's just see if we can just get a bit of a... Okay. And we'll fire up the vacuum pump. Let's push on the lid a little bit. There we go. Right, I'll just remove that. So as you can see, that's now... Oh, blimey. Right, I'm just going to take the camcorder off the stand. As you can see, that's bubbling away like crazy, although there's not much happening on the amber. But that... Wow. Um... Incredible. So I'm now going to let that vacuum for, well, a good few minutes. Um, I'm just going to have to do something about the bubbles. So I'm just going to pause this until such time as I've finished. Right, um, that's been under... I've been pulling the vacuum for 15 minutes, which is about as long as it takes for the front of my pump to become uncomfortable to touch, so that's when I know it's enough. Um, as you can see, it's now holding that vacuum and the instructions for cactus juice to say to hold it for at least twice as long as it was under vacuum. Well, as you can see, it's still, there are still bubbles coming out. So there's still air being exchanged. So I'm going to leave that for, well, at least, at least three quarters of an hour. So I shall be back when that's done. Okay, um, we've been sort of under vacuum for about half an hour, as you can see, it's still holding. And I don't know whether you can see that, but the amount of bubbles coming out of the Blue John, it's just struggling to focus with the big acrylic lid on the vacuum chamber. There we go. Have decreased significantly. And ditto with the amber so I think the stuff is really sort of now really getting into the uh, nooks and crannies on the inside but there's still exchange going on so while ever that's happening I'm going to leave it as I say it's still under a full vacuum so there's no reason to uh, to disturb it yet okay um, a quick update it's now 20 past 7 so this has been under a vacuum now for at least an hour and again I'm sorry but as you can see there are now hardly any bubbles coming out of there there are still one or two just coming out of the amber 
but they have decreased significantly. Now my sort of theory is, is that the best thing I can do here is leave that even longer until they stop nearly all together. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it another hour. So let, I'll be back in an hour. Right, that's two hours and there are still just some tiny signs of, of bubble activity but nothing nothing like it was it's it's pretty it's pretty stable so i think on that note now i'm going to remove it from the resin place it on the rack and then we'll put it in my um freshly sort of cleaned oven so i'll put the camcorder back on the tripod um this as i said remember this, for me this is all a it's all a first time so you're watching this as I do it with absolutely no experience whatsoever in either using cactus juice or stabilising rocks. So bear with me. Right, um, first thing we'll do then is release the vacuum. I'm, I'm not doing it too fast because the resin is directly under the inlet. If you do it too fast it just sends a charge of air and it splashes the resin everywhere. That I do know from doing my a casting my luminous things. I know what I mean. Okay. So let's just see if I can remove this in one go. This is no. I'm going to take the items out individually. So I'm going to start with the amber. Just give it a shake. Plop it on there. And now the piece of blue, John. The weight of which has increased considerably. I really should have weighed the resin uh, before, anyhow, notwithstanding. So there we go. So I'll put those into the oven. Now, I have to be very, very careful here, especially with that amber. So I'm going to start on a uh, pleasantly low temperature. think this is probably a case of um, dry it out slowly over a period of time. Sorry, I don't know whether we got that. I do apologise. Um, slowly over a period of time or dry it fast. Well, it's amber. It's tree resin. Um, it doesn't have a particularly high melting point. So sort of probably 50, 60 degrees C is probably going to be about the limit. So if it takes longer to dry, then so be it. But we'll just keep having a check on it every so often. So let's leave that alone for a little while while I uh, decant the stored resin. <laughs> 